What's going on guys, Bizais here and in today's video we're gonna learn a lot about AD Carry. So this video has lane phase fundamentals, macro, wave management and also rotations. It's absolutely amazing if you're below Grandmaster so make sure you watch this until the end. And if you're AD Carry, you really want to subscribe to this channel. It's amazing completely. You're gonna thank me later. Enjoy. Very good. Keep slow pushing and only hit them. Yeah. Need to crash in the world, jungle missing. We need to ward after this, try to ping that. Yeah. Drivers, 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 drivers. Right there. And now we're gonna slow push. You do not need to push fast because you don't know what is the jungle. Try to play the brush, you have better angle for Q. Put it in mid lane, push fast and then you're recalling. And also tell Lulu to push. Yeah. Just refill. And you get longsword dagger here. Just a bit of attack speed, a bit of... Uh, actually even double longsword is fine. Be hey, careful, careful. Be careful because Udir is coming. Yeah. Press B and look at the wave. Press B, let's see how fast now. They're not gonna push too fast. You can always recall. You can ghost the lane after. No problem. Ghost to lane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look at the lane and we will see after if we need to. It's okay, you're gonna lose the wave anyways. I shouldn't be able to crush all of the wave. I think they don't crash the casters. Let's see. Look at the wave. Yeah, nice. You don't need to ghost the wave in this case. It's a cannon wave, you can always do that. I was gonna say, I've never done that. I know. <laughs> That's why you take ghost. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> okay. You just make it super efficient. Because if you only use it late game, then okay, sure, it's not good. We just slow push here and play slow. Okay, so in his mid lane. Just just crush this. Look at mid lane then crush. Yeah. Need to word after. Would this scary? Careful, careful, careful. We did. Try bush, same word. Maybe pink word there. Yeah. We did missing. Okay. How is the farm and the items here? For the... D843. Okay, she's weak.
Are you an AD carry main struggling to make an impact in your games? Is your damage output disappointingly low leaving you feeling frustrated and powerless in the role you love? Introducing our specialized coaching program designed to supercharge your AD carry performance. Imagine a world where your damage, decision making and farming skills are 10 times better and the outcome of your games is no longer left to chance. Meet Chase, just like you, he was once stuck in the same position, facing low damage and inconsistency in his games. Let's see what happened after his coaching experience, from Diamond 4 to Master Tier. Wow! And here is Jordan and Brett, both transformed into formidable AD carry after the coaching session. These success stories aren't just isolated cases, they are a part of a community of over 3,243 players who benefited from the coaching program. If it worked for them, why not for you? Picture yourself as an unstoppable AD carry. It's not a dream, it's your potential with the coaching session. Don't wait any longer, visit Visite.com, book your coaching and become the AD carry the enemy team hates to play against. Skipping the wave here benefits you a lot in the 2v2. Okay, we go and replay on that. But that wave management was very good by you. Like letting the waves come into you and just try to bully them because that's gonna help you 2v2. Right. Vayne had only Vampire Acceptor, so you were uh, stronger than her. She's staying here, that's actually quite bad. You can stop her, so now you should hard push any anything you see. Just fast okay. push. She didn't recall, that's a big mistake. You just push hard. Okay, walk up and stop her recall as well. Udir is mid. Yeah, push hard, Udir is mid. So in mid too. There is bot lane. Cost. Oh, it's uh. close. Oh, what is it going to replay? We always triple heal if we play it good mechanically. Ghost instantly when you see him on the river with Udir, you flash the E of the sign, you always win this. You never stay close to the wall. It's a very triple kill. You can actually wait for the item. You have boots in 10, 10 seconds, so... Okay, she will get that wave. Okay, let's go fast. If she takes another wave, you start pinging her and tell her that you want a wave. Okay, ping on my wave and the wave. Make sure she doesn't... Yeah. Two pings, two pings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Go top, go top, go top, go top, go top, go top, go top. Go top, yes. It's okay. First stab, is she strong? It's 2-3, yeah. Just look at the top wave though. We need to know what's going on. Level 7, 8 rocks and waves coming into you. Okay, it's doable. Have to make the best out of this situation. Next time try to ping twice. Three times a bit. You don't want to trigger your teammates. Be careful, you have to just get away. Be careful, don't show, don't show. He's winning, he's winning. He's so stupid, what the fuck. You should just stay in fog of war, and when he goes in the brush, you get the wave. You don't need to auto attack like that. If he flashes on you, you're always dead there. He's level 8 almost. You don't fight top laners at this point of the game. Be careful, be careful. He should be brush. Let's push, but get ready to run. Yeah. 
Piccolo and then you go bot. You cannot stay top for a long period of time. This is just temporary. But temporary. Every time when you group top this early or mid, it's temporary. Unless you're like ultra strong, which is not the case. Then you go bot. You're still up in CS as you can see, and same level with Vayne. I'm supposing this is different compared to your gameplay, is it? A lot. Okay. Like desperate situations no, need this desperate decision making, so what we did here is not common, like in this game. It's just adaptations. So Swain is top, hard push, ping, push, ping, and push hard. You don't word, you don't do anything. Try to do two pings, because when you do four pings, people might consider muting you. Everyone is top. Very nice. Don't stay close to the wall, stay on the low angle. Yeah. You always win, but just so you know. Would you stop? So incoming. Would it missing? It's probably top. With slow push, it crash three waves, take the tower, and grow mid after. Careful of the Swain. Okay, you're top. Try to keep the wave here for as much as possible. If the Swain actually uses E, you can play aggressive via blue ult. Never mind, care, care. Careful, careful. A ulti and post. But they're missing still. Can be brushes, so we play relatively safe. Playing weak side right now. No, no top. Stay here if they push, you're not gonna be just ping assistance and stay, 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 stay. Don't don't do up, don't do up, yeah. Just push, okay, I'll show you in the replay. Yeah, if you walk up like that, yeah. That's why. Okay, push hard, but be careful. Just wait, 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 wait. Wait to there to recall and then you push after. Just act like you yes, that's good. Act like you don't wanna push. Okay, push west. Push west and reset. Rise is behind you for some reason. Just recall here. We can't crush, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> just because she's on, never died here. My rise is really strong. I'm gonna go on the replay there. You should never show up on the vein. Oh, what are you doing? Go, go, go mid, go mid, go mid, go mid, go mid. Rise is pushing your wave. The worst thing that we can do here is is going bot. You hey, go mid or top. You avoid top because it's Aatrox with 3 levels up, mid lane you're safer. You go mid and you catch the waves. That would be a huge mistake by you. Go bot. 
Let's try to push Rise this bot lane, so there should be bot lane. Stay on the bot side angle and push, but be careful. Yeah, like this. Try to push mid. Just push. It's good to hover Lulu, but now you're at number disadvantage. There, a Drake. Okay, there is a Drake. Push mid. Push mid. You push mid and then you play for top. Everyone is a Drake right now. Stay on the left angle. Take the tower. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, they are not coming for you, so you can slowly play. Too far. Push mid, push mid. Careful, careful, careful. Everyone's coming, everyone's coming. Be careful here. No reason to do anything stupid. You can get raptors here, there's nothing to do right now. But be careful. Oh, there could be around. Okay, stay mid lane and receive the wave. Be very careful with the face checks. Oh, there can be anywhere. There he is. Yeah. Okay, go, 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 go. Mid. You need to learn to play good costs, because it just feels like you never played with it before. Good, good recall, you cannot push mid, very nice. case we go mid, but this is a nice bot lane, top lane is too far and mid lane is coming into you. How, what level is uh, the vein? Is she level? Okay, she's one level up because she the guy roamed. Look mid lane, look mid lane, look mid lane, what is happening? Yeah, that's why you don't go top. You see how easy it is to decide if you're looking? <laughs> Just receive the wave, don't look up. Nice try, nice try. But uh, you're not that strong right now, you have one item so you can't just flash like this. Be careful. If you have more items, you can always test limits like this. You have like three items. But not at one and a half. Yeah, the guys did at least. Nice. Nice attempt, nice attempt. Don't forget to get blue trinket here. Your plan of the game is just to farm right now, you would prefer to say side lane, but it's unfortunate how Tristana and Rice play this game. So we just have to stay mid. You need to get to stay so oh. Yeah, wave is coming into you mid. Pay attention to Nunu, if it's a close fight you can consider moving. We need to get two items minimum here. Pain is gonna get solo XP. Push and hover Nunu. Careful. Oh, you win this. This is good. Okay, 
Okay, push mid. Pamping Baron, spamping Baron, pamping Baron. Baron, Baron, Baron. Okay. If you were a bit faster, Rise would have stayed as well. That's how you ping in late game. Ping multiple times. But only late game you ping like this, like a psycho. In early, it's still thing if you ping like this for your support. Then you go top. Everyone is a trick, so. He just got top to catch the wave. Got top, got top, got top. You either recall or go top here. You're never gonna get to Drake in time. It's too far. Take this and one more as well. Push one more. Even if you if you move there straight, you're gonna make that in time with 1.7k gold. Then just recall right here. You don't need to stay, you don't need to stay. Don't know who is gonna be top many if they have TP and you have huge item here with Baron, you don't wanna risk it. And now you go to the Raptors. There is no wave mid lane, there is no wave bot lane, so you're gonna Raptors into mid. You see? <coughs> you know, a month or two. This is how you should be playing. And yeah. this takes big time to have this game sense. You take this, you kite towards mid lane, and then you take mid, and then you go into bot. The reason why you take this is because it, there is nothing else to do on the map. The wave mid lane was relatively far. Now you can push and then adapt on the map. Either go top, go bot, or recall. Now I go bo top, 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 top. No reason to actually... Yeah. You can't push me, so you're gonna hover display. For the rise. Okay, and now you press B, because you have 800 gold and you're never gonna kill a vein on the side lane. You hovered, you adapted, but it wasn't possible, so you just get the item and go mid. No one was really pushing any lane, so this recall doesn't hold back your teammates. Because rise wasn't really kind of pushing a far wave. Tristana was still in base, so... This recall is good. As you can see, your farm starts to be slowly better. Try to ping on my way, tell him to not take your way. Yeah, two pings. Two pings usually are the best. It's okay. You can play slowly aggressive blood bot. Paint top. With your top. I thought she was coming right to me. Close, 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 close. Very nice. I got trip. my weapon cycle order all messed up. Yeah. Plus, you really bad. Also had flash there for the for the I j It literally just came up. You should be fine, you're doing lots of damage with this Lulu. You can get pickaxe and you should be okay. The only problem is that Vayne is getting solo XP on the side lane, so she's gonna be oh theoretically up in level. Practically she's actually not. Yeah. Try to go towards bot and if she's coming then go to Raptors, yeah. Oh, go bot, go bot, go bot, go bot. Interesting. Push bot lane, then you hover anything that is close to you. Mid game is a very adaptable playstyle, it's around your team. You're trying to get as many waves as possible, but at the same time you want to be in team fights because you have two items and a hell. Reaver, reaver, reaver. Okay, it's too far. Let's push one more and then move afterwards. It's way too far. Gotta rush pushing this and then we move after. You're one level up on, on vein when you actually were 0 2. So as you can see, this is a raw macro working for you. Now you just hover your, your no no. You're never pushing bot lane here, by the way. Your job is to stay in team fights. Baron is up in a minute and 30. You do not want to push this far. And you do not want to be on the isolated side lane.
Nice attempt, nice attempt. Okay, we're gonna play for the tower. I mean, at least this Tana is playing for something. So you're gonna get Infinity Edge. There's also place for that. This is quite good outcome compared to like that you're actually always playing with this advantage in terms of numbers. This is good. You ever sell uh, Doran's Blade? If you can get Infinity Edge, maybe. But not only for BF Sword in a situation where you play against Vladimir. You need the HP. So unless you're getting a really good power spike of it, then you can do it. Okay, Tristana is actually getting something. Like Vayne is AFK side lane. She's just not in team fights. Her micro is not good. Here. I'm getting Penta. Why do you have Infinity very soon? How much for Infinity? 18,300. Okay. okay. No, no, that is actually coming. Holy and he's very tanky as well, so he's never gonna die with Lulu. It's gonna eat double the Q here. Oh no, Lulu didn't follow. Okay, if he's gonna get one more. Ah, oh, I'm very close. Tristana is gonna get top. I mean... It's playing like a Yorick with Tristana. It's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. Just go, just go, just go, just go. You can get Infinity Edge after. You don't need There's to... nothing here. Do I farm wolves? You can go mid, actually. It's not far. Because you have a top laner that is like Yorick, so that mid wave is not far based on the positioning of your teammates so you go and sneak that as fast as possible and then you should be able to get it gotta be fast nice Eric call instantly just leave 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 you have infinity edge there's no reason for you to grief ping your teammates danger 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 yes 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 like now we just played for infinity edge and now go straight to baron yeah Next time you should ping yourself, not your teammates. Ping yourself like 10 times. Danger, 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 so they can see you recalling. Yeah. Look at that dash, look at the Nash, it's more important. The HP of the Nash is more important than this. Yeah. Okay, 5k, let's go. Because you could have also ghosted if someone is around. It's more important than the Sana kill. Nice. Be careful, be careful. You do not want to fight here. Run, 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 run. Let him be, let him be. Just recall. Recall, recall, recall. Okay, it's fine. You win this, you win this. You win this, you win this. Careful, Vlad. Vlad behind. Ashley has no W. Good. Top, 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 top. Blue? Yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. You have Lolo behind. Okay, have a huge gold. Need to recall soon. Now we can sell it. <coughs> okay, first tab. Does anyone have Oblivion Orb? Yes, Lulu has it. And mid doesn't have it. Yeah, I guess you can you can take that item. Usually you wanna go Bloodthirster or uh, Maw here. You push one more and you have to urgently be mid. You need to stay with your, uh, with your teammates. 
Ok, change of plan. Push, 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 top, push, top, push, top. They are too far from you. Way too far. You're never gonna get there in time. If they are in the first, if they are where the first mid tower should be, you go mid. But now they are way too far. Drake is 40 seconds. Press tab. Go straight to the Drake. Straight to the Drake. Straight to the Drake. Yeah. Straight to the Drake. Press tab. It's the third Drake. It's important now. Yeah. Oh my god. That's why you need more. Because you can't play without more. Let's go Bloodthirster. Let's stay on the Executioners and go Bloodthirster. I don't think you should get Executioners in this case. You have Lulu. Go a bit more in depth on exactly. Um, Exactly. Bowlers, if you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid game macro, and tire lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, it's only on Patreon, they're exclusive. Moreover, you can participate in the free coaching waiting list to get a premium VOD review. I'm giving away two free VOD reviews every single week. All what you need to do is simple two-step process subscribe to my patreon and share your opgg and voila you are on the waiting list you're gonna get a personalized vote review for any game in your match history for just five dollars you get not only the free vote review but a whole bunch of exclusive benefits that will supercharge your gaming experience it's a small investment for a big return and it's just five dollars it's no brain right but here is the deal you've got to act quickly the waiting list is already filling up fast 55 people already subscribed to the patreon and there are six people that they are already are on board they are on the waiting list and more are joining every moment now do you want to secure your spot for a free father go ahead on my patreon and reserve it right now